Well, hello everybody. I thought that since we were all stuck inside trying to dodge the coronavirus that it might be a nice day to look back at the snowy flight that I took with my new Christmas drone uh, this winter. We only had one snowy day all winter long, but I was able to get out to the farm and do a little bit of flying with it. So uh, I thought I'd sh put it up on the internet and uh, let some people see it. So uh, right now we're flying over some uh, peaches on the left and apples on the right and headed out into the back of the orchard where you really don't get to go very often for pick your own. Um, on the left side are some peaches that uh, are not long for this world, but I thought we'd keep them for one more year. They're a late variety and it's nice to have some late peaches. This is one of our newer plantings of peaches uh, and it's turning out to be a really large field. Uh, it stretches over the ridge there on the left hand side and it's going to get even bigger this year. We've got even more peaches to put in there. Um, so there's about three years worth of plantings in here and it just keeps getting a little bit bigger every year. But I think maybe after this year I'm just going to call it quits and uh, be done planting peaches for a while. Um, we're pretty far back in the orchard here and uh, that day I was starting to lose a little bit of my video feed. so. You'll see me uh, start to chicken out here in a minute and uh, decide to kind of turn around and head back toward the front of the farm. But uh, it was a beautiful day to fly. A little bit windy, but um, the aircraft did just fine and was able to handle it all. <clears throat> uh, so here you can see the peaches. They're not trimmed yet at this point, uh, so they look a little bit hairy. But it's really easy to see the structure of the trees on a snowy day in the winter which is one of the reasons I kind of like to fly the drone this time of year. It really lets you see the trees pretty well. Uh, one of these years I'm going to actually uh, do some tree counting uh, by taking static pictures way up high in the air. Um, that little pine woods right there does a nice job of breaking the wind and uh, it's a good reason for it to still have trees in there. It's a little bit too steep to farm on and uh, it provides some nice habitat for critters anyway. Um, there are several different varieties of peaches back here uh, and some new nectarines too. The nectarines should actually bear a little bit this year so we should uh, finally have a good nectarine crop. I'm looking forward to that. Um, let's see, you see some brush piles out there in the distance too. Uh, that is part of a peach orchard that was pushed out and I don't think they're going to be ready to burn this spring but um, we'll get them uh, lit up probably next fall when they're nice and dry and they, they go up a little bit easier. In the meantime, that field there will probably be used for pumpkins this year. I found that it's really pretty nice to plant into old orchard ground directly uh, with pumpkins. We'll use a no-till cedar and put it straight down into the killed sod that was there in the middle of the of the rows. And growing pumpkins on grass, uh, on dead grass, is a really nice uh, way to do it because the pumpkins stay really really clean. So now we're looking back to the north across the ponds and up toward the road um, and there you can see the trees actually waving in the wind too. That's kind of neat. Uh, so let's fly. This is uh, apples that we're flying over right now. Uh, nice straight rows. Those have probably been pruned at this point in the season. Um, and now we're flying directly back up toward the barn uh, in that big pond. Now you're looking into uh, kind of one of the hidden valleys that we have in the farm. You can really only see that valley once you're once you're down in it. Uh, we don't ever get back there for pick your own. Uh, it's a little bit steep and it's a little bit remote, uh, but it's really really pretty back there. Uh, there's some Macintosh on the field back there to the left in that block, and we're flying over some older roams right now. Uh, it's an old block of trees, but they still really pump out the apples. Uh, it's kind of hard to take out a block of apples that still produces really well, even if they're not worth a lot. Uh, now we're flying back to the north again, flying over some uh, Cameo. And on the left-hand side, you can see a, a, new plant, a new vineyard that we planted. There's four new rows of grapes down there, um, different table table grapes. Uh, I'm looking forward to having those come in in another in another year. We won't let them bear this year. We'll try to establish the vines. So uh, these again are a cameo that we're flying over right now. 
on trellises. The block of uh, apples directly ahead uh, doesn't look very uniform, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, those were Red Delicious that we cut off and then grafted in 2018. 2018 was a year where we had a lot of rain, so the problem was that a lot of those grew too well, and they blew right out of their grafts. Um, grafting is something else we probably ought to do a video on because we're doing a good bit of it now, and it's a pretty interesting technique to be able to change the variety of uh, fruit that's on a tree, like the variety of an apple. So those are going to go from Red Delicious to Fuji's. There we are flying over that new uh, planting of grapes and over onto the next ridge. So uh, at this point during the flight, I noticed a pair of tracks out there and I thought, well, it might be fun to try to follow those tracks and see where they go, see if somebody got stuck out there in the orchard. There was only about four inches of snow, just enough to cover everything. So uh, somebody with a good uh, four-wheel drive was able to drive right through. And uh, I found out later it was one of my employees. So somebody had a good reason to be there. And they drove around. Uh, this is a block of very old grafts. And um, some are Honeycrisp and some are other varieties. The Senshu are back there and some John of Golds as well. You see a lot of uh, empty fields. Those are used for rotations. Uh, that field is in winter wheat right now underneath all that snow. Uh, we often use it for pumpkins, uh, but usually it's just used for soybeans and corn. You're flying over some uh, older Red Delicious right now and uh, headed up into the cherries to the north. I'm looking forward to programming some waypoints into the drone so that it can fly at a pretty high speed all the way around the orchard by itself um, and, and capture video. Uh, I think that'll be a neat thing to add to. It'll also help me um, focus more on monitoring what I'm seeing rather than flying. The field that we're flying over right now is uh, in a cover crop underneath that snow uh, and will be in pumpkins this year. So here we are flying up into the cherries. And uh, those were really hard to keep the deer out of. We've got a deer fence now, and that's making things a little bit better. Um, but you can never really replace the lower limbs that once were there, but then were chewed away. The uh, fruit at the top of the hill here in the last few rows is apricots. Apricots are pretty tender. and. Uh, those trees are pretty old, so we're losing a few of them, and uh, fortunately we've got some new ones planted that should be able to help take the place of the old ones. So at, at this point in the flight, I was starting to get a little bit lower on battery, and uh, so we're headed home now. The uh, While I was there, a friend showed up with his drone because he had exactly the same idea I did. So uh, we're going to see him here when we land. Flying over the cherries again. Cherries got uh, pruned at the very end of the, probably about August, something like that. So they were late summer pruned, and uh, that helps them set up some really nice buds and helps uh, relieve some of the stress so that we don't try to get, don't have to try to get them pruned at the uh, very end of the winter season when we're so busy doing other stuff. So there's a picture of the barn and the house in the background, and. Uh, my buddy there, who was flying as well that day. And this is a point where I decided it was a good, not a good idea to try to land in the snow. So we'll move back into the shed and land it there. Well, thanks for joining us, and I hope you appreciated that little winter tour of the orchard.